Hey, this is Rich. This is Chang. And in this video, we're going to be reacting to one of the original Passport Brothers bashing videos. But before we continue, if ever you're just new here to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's get it going. Let's get it. Rolling by trike. Here we go. This comment cracks me the hell up because it is so clear. Y'all ain't never met no foreign bitch. This comment is in response to a video where I shared some statistics about how most men find most women attractive, whereas most women find most men disgusting. <laughs> and this fool writes, get your passport, brothers. <laughs> Seemingly a reference to the passport bro movement, which makes zero sense. This whole idea that you're going to go abroad to find a wife because American women aren't submissive enough. They don't want men to be leaders. They're not like our grandmas were. Expectations are astronomical. It makes no sense because foreign have way higher expectations than American girls do. First of all, don't nobody have higher expectations than American women do. <laughs> so stop the cap. Yeah, yeah, I just I just noticed that she's very, I think, triggered with the word submissive. I think submissive is such a strong word. And maybe if we could replace that with something like supportive, maybe it would be more appropriate. I agree with you. We I think we talked about this yeah. in another video. It is a, tr a word that triggers some people. The bottom line is I think it shouldn't be a battle. And I think most women should be in subjection to their husband and accept the leadership that he has to offer. If you're sleeping next to him and you made babies with him, then, why, then how come you can't follow his leadership? Mm -hmm. Really? You, you, have, you made whole babies with this <laughs> man, but, but he's not a good enough leader? Mm -hmm. And if he's not a good enough leader and you made babies with him and you're sleeping with him every night, what does that say about you? she mentioned that women are not in america are not submissive enough now if you're not submissive enough and then the other countries for in particular in asia women there are submissive then why are you so salty about the women here being submissive and um nurturing right, right. right? why are you hating these girls that can offer love and care and affection without you know even looking at the the wallet of the guy we are not looking at financial status although financial security is very much it important, is important i mean but we yeah. have to acknowledge that financial mm -hmm. status is important you can't just come here and be a bum yeah. you have to you can't just splash your money <laughs> yeah and well not only that but you can't i mean first of all i mean she talked about flashing money mm. um i've heard a lot of women talk about well they go to countries where the dollars has more value mm. well duh i mean doesn't that make sense to go, I mean, don't doesn't everybody want their dollar to have more value? Mm. So going to a place where your dollar has more value, well, doesn't that make them smarter? Yeah. That's all I'm saying. But the other thing is, do you understand how much it costs to fly from the U.S. to the Philippines or to Thailand? It ain't cheap. So for people that's talking about, oh, they ain't got no money, they're, they're broke. broke. Yeah, it ain't cheap flying here. Look it up yourself. It's thirteen to fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars to fly round trip. It ain't cheap. Plus the hotel. Plus and, hotels. And other transfers. Yeah, your hotels, transportation, food, food all that stuff. You got to have some money. You can't just come here and be broke. Most of the cats that are here have come here with good intentions, but they're meeting women. They're meeting grown women who are looking for men. Who have standards too. Who have standards too, who are looking for men, who, who are happy to take care of them, and who they're happy to take care of who they're happy to cook and clean for because they actually enjoy it. It's what they want to do. You missed Dusty, your opportunity. Right? <laughs> Dusty, for reals? I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, you missed yeah. your opportunity. when, And then when the man, when all the men goes out of the country and fly somewhere else, you're all salty. Let's watch this next video. Okay. We need to stop pretending that women need a man or X, Y, Z. It's like, no. Back we, yourself, we do need men, you... though. We do. We don't need them. We then, do. No, because then lesbians. Who do you call to get your car fixed? A man or a woman? Your toilet breaks down. Who do you call? A so man I, or a woman? I fix my own car. Power supply. Who runs it? Who runs the infrastructure of society? Men or women? 
Oh, at the moment, men, obviously. Yeah, so, the so we, regardless of that, like, you agree that men run the infrastructure, so therefore... Oh, at the we, moment, we, yeah, men run the world. The, so they, we need men. Not on we, a wider scale, yes. yes. On a wider scale. On a personal scale, no. Because you don't need a man to provide for you. Right, we can earn right, our own but, wage. But, but, but we need men to run the industries that keep us alive and well. Not necessarily, no. Because I know female mechanics, engineers, right, but, carpenters. But, but remember, remember, that's exception. Like, those industries are, like, 99% male. Hmm. So on, I know. <laughs> on top of that, if somebody's breaking in your house, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? No, <laughs> yeah. you calling the police, and who's showing up? It's gonna be a. It's more than likely gonna be a man, right? Mm, yeah. It'll, so I mean, let's not talk about we don't need a man and none of this stuff. That's just not. It's garbage. But let's be really real. We need each other. I'm not yeah. gonna sit here and say, man, we don't need women. Mm-hmm. We do need women. We need each other. Yeah, I agree. Both partners will need to work now. It ain't like it used to be where one or one of the partners could work and the other one could stay home for a lot of couples, both people need to work for them to make it. That's just, that's just the society we live in today. Things have changed. Mm. So to pretend like we don't need each other, it's just stupid. Why don't we think about what we need to do so we can band together and have a better society? Yeah. Currently I'm a single mom now taking good care of two boys. Now financially, yes, I can provide, but the aspect of emotional, moral, support that i can get from a man that's what i need for my boys financially yes he can help me in some part or some way but what i need from my partner is someone who can model healthy masculinity right i mean, I mean look when you go on to tiktok and you see you see, <laughs> you see these women crying oh where's the man I, I need a man i'm so alone what happened why don't they care about me i needed i want attention that shit is real you see it, I see it, we all see those the same videos. Quit lying to yourself. Mm-hmm. You want a man to be there, you wish a man would be there, just he don't want you. So put yourself in a position where a man will actually will want to be there and you can have the life you really want. Yeah. I was the one who was triggered initially, but now <laughs> I'm, I'm all riled up, so mm. let me calm down, let's get to this next video. The passport bro movement in America exists because men in America, they lack motivation, they're mediocre. That's true. That's, there's a lot of truth to that. So why would American women have to put up with a man that don't have any of those qualities? I mean, I'm going to lend some credence to what she just said. There's a lot of men who are just bums. They don't, they don't want to work. They, don't, they have no ambition. They ain't trying to get better. They ain't grinding. And so why would a woman want to be with those men? But if those are the only men you're attracted, then there might be something wrong with you. And American women or Western women shouldn't have to put up with bums. That's not the economy. It's the economy. It's telling us that you have to work together. The real reason is this is the era of a nuclear family where both parents are almost forced to work because of the economic situations here in America. A lot of guys are working hard. A lot of guys are grinding. It doesn't mean they're not trying. But the fact is, years ago, their job would have probably taken care of the whole family. It Mm. doesn't anymore. So the society that we live in today requires both parents to work in a lot of situations here in America. Prices go up, not just in America, also here in the Philippines. So the setup would be like both partners should work together because, you know, the demands are higher. So just a single person to provide for the family may be enough but if you want some to live a a comfortable life then both of you should be working together totally agree totally agree passport bros they think they can go to another country and offer this woman and he says it in the video that if he goes to the philippines and he offers a woman a better life he said it right there he's just basically manipulating these women into thinking that they're gonna have a better life with them which they might because they may live in very poor areas but guess what if you bring her to america that's expensive you're gonna have to work your ass off you're gonna have to be the provider you're gonna have to pay for all her bills if she doesn't have an education you might even have to pay for her education and she might end up leaving you because life here is different and you can't expect women in america to be like the women in other countries you can't expect women here in america to go for a guy that's below them if i go to school i make six figures i want a man that makes six figures too or more because men in america they want their women to go 50 50 on the bills and 50 50 50 maybe on the household 
and the shores, which usually is more like 90, 10. So why would a woman here settle for some loser? Okay, the, the first thing I have to say... a lot of points yeah. <laughs> Where do we begin? The first thing I have to say is, if, if you're going to another country and you're offering a woman a better life, is that a bad thing? Like, I thought it was a good thing that you're, that you're offering to give somebody a better life. Isn't that what you want men to do in America or, or every, anywhere in the West? You're, isn't that what you're looking for? You're looking for a man who's going to make your life better better, right? Isn't isn't the whole point is that you're looking for a partner who makes your life better, who offers you a better life? How is it different anywhere else in the world, in the Philippines, in Thailand, or, or anywhere else? Why should it be different? If a woman has the opportunity, wouldn't she take it? Doesn't it make sense? How are you clowning her? How are you, how are you demeaning her for taking advantage of opportunity when that's exactly what you want to do? And bringing, she mentioned about bringing your spouse to the U.S. That's not your problem anymore. It is not your problem. Because <laughs> so, we ain't bringing them back. Nobody is bringing their women back from the Philippines or Thailand or anywhere else in Asia or the DR or anywhere. Ain't nobody bringing their women back to their country because we know exactly what's going to happen if we bring them back to our country. So don't worry about that. It's not going to happen. We're posted up in their countries where our dollar goes further, remember? She's worried about the problems of the guys who go here or the passport bros, but that's not her concern anymore. It, it you know? is not It's his concern. decision to yeah. make whether he wants to bring her girlfriend or her spouse to the United States. That's not your concern anymore. Yeah. So you think that, you know, when, you, and in your, when your men go here and then they just flash us with money and then rescue us from poverty because they we think that they are like knight in shining armor. Are you impoverished? No. Are you broke? Of course not. <laughs> are you poor? Definitely. Okay. Sir. <laughs> yeah. Give me please, sir. Give me some bread. Give me some, some more, right? I know. Come quit tripping. Quit. You are just straight delusional. People ain't why would you why would you go to another country and look for a poor broke ass woman, right? You all we all men care about is finding a woman that's going to be good to them, that's going to take good care of them, that's going to love them, and that's going to do the things that Western that a lot of Western women don't want to do. Is what's wrong with that? If you don't want to do it, why shouldn't I go somewhere and find a woman who wants to, who not only will do it but wants to do it? Men want to come home in peace, peace. and calm, harmony, <laughs> yeah. tranquility, <laughs> yeah, all of those things. Why I got to come home to your funky ass arguing, bickering, and nagging me to death? If you didn't want these men, if these are not, if, if these men are undesirable, if you don't care about these men, why the f*** are you making videos? <laughs> you should be, you should be on cloud nine. You should be happy. Because they're men, gone. They're you leaving. Be happy they're gone, right? You didn't pass them off to somebody else. Some dusties. Good nobody, riddance. Good riddance, right? Why are you still making videos talking about these men that are leaving? Why, if you don't care, if it don't matter to you, quit whining and live your damn life. Just to reflect on what we were, on the videos we just watched, it's not women's fault. It's both. Social media has fed us a lot of bull and it's got a lot of people believing that their lives should be different than what it really is. And I think men need to, men need to level up, need, get out, out of the house. They need to grind. They need to get in the gym. They need to take care of themselves. They need to be working harder. Um, they, they need to better themselves in pre preparation for taking care of a family and the responsibilities that come with it. I think the expectation of women are way too high. Uh, of women definitely need some adjustments, and they are way too high. Mm -hmm. And this country doesn't work the way it did 20 years ago. So I, I think I think there's adjustment, and I think I do think there's compromise on both sides by men and by women. Men need to level up. There's there's no question about it. Get your ass in the gym. Get your ass off the couch. Quit watching TV. Quit playing video games. And just to add to what you said, life add is... Add to what I said. Go ahead. <laughs> life is not like a Disney movie. Yes. So there's nothing wrong with being empowered as long as you know your responsibility, your role as a woman, whether it, whether it is outside the home or inside, especially inside the home, that you need to respect your partner, number one, and also, you know, take care of the house, be nurturing, and... Not submissive, but you have to be supportive. Well said. Well said.
I do want to say one more thing in, in favor of women too. So there's a lot of men, including myself, who want, who would love to be with a woman who's intelligent, who's smart, who's articulate, and all those things. So by no means am I downplaying or am I putting down any woman who's going out there trying to get her education and having a career. What I'm saying is this, I would strongly suggest you prioritize your family, family. or prioritize your man instead of, instead of those things. We are all replaceable at work, but at home, of course, it is your responsibility to be a parent, to be a wife, to be a husband, or take care of the family. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and comment to this video. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And we have other contents. You might want to check that out. This is Cheng. Richie Rich. We're out. Peace. Deuces.